<laughs> it's literally Dollar General, man. Is it? It's the Dollar General of the BMW dealership community. So I, I was listening to an episode yesterday. Straight up. And, and you guys were like comparing. Sewell to. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. My buddy that I had Sewell's on. My, Sewell's actually my mom's customer. So my mom uh, owns her own freight company. Yeah. And uh, she ships all their cars. For Dude, them. okay. Sewell wow. is an awesome company. Oh yeah, they're great, man. They're, they're the management's awesome. They do things for you, though. right? They do things for you. That's great, right? But hold on, but hold on. I'm getting there. So I worked there as a technician in Grapevine, and I, I, uh, their warranty department is crap, and they like have a lot of power hungry people there. That was the only problem. So I was like, okay, I got to get out of here, right? But being an advisor might have been better because apparently it's great as an advisor. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, grass is always greener on the other That's side. That's what they always say, right? Yeah, it exactly. always is. Being an advisor, Arlington, dude, oh my gosh, everyone asks for a discount. But yeah, you know, maybe it's like human nature. I don't know. Maybe they think it's some kind of game. Can I get a discount on my seventy dollar oil change? It's seventy dollars for a BMW oil change. That's cheap. Dude, it cost me more than it's that. Already to change cheap, oil dude. In my truck. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But they want a discount on that. Oh, it's not fifty dollars anymore. What the heck, man? You can't crazy, even buy dude. oil for fifty bucks, like for a full oil change. And a we are literally, yeah, we literally six, lose money. Six and a half like we know oh, that we lose like, money. No way. Yeah, and people no think way. that dealerships just have all this money back end. They do, don't they? <laughs> they got all those cars. They there bought. you go. <laughs> Upper management does in their own little pockets, but the dealership itself maybe not. Dude, so this is what I've started doing. When people ask me for discounts, I just straight up tell them no. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start charging them more if they ask for discounts. But I've started screenshotting when they ask for a discount, and I post it on my Instagram, like on the story. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll call That's, them out, dude. I don't. What know. I what I like about this, so you're you're technically whatever small business you're doing it yourself, so you can literally control your clientele. Mm-hmm. I just wonder if you can't if you're bigger because you have to have the people. I don't know. I'm not sure. You know? Um, yeah. Why would it matter, right? Right. Yeah. You should be able to, right? Yeah. I think there's this whole thing like live live by the review, die by the review. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. And for me, like, I don't fucking care <laughs> because there's nobody that can do it better than I can. And I've got a proven track record already. There's evidence out there. Yeah. So if you go and say, oh, he fucked my car up, people are going to be like, man, he probably didn't. You fucked it up. So Yeah. <laughs> There you go, man. You have the reputation already, so you're not worried about yeah, that. So that makes sense. Fuck those people. I saw you smiling already. What were you going to say, dude? Huh? Do you do that a lot? Do you, like, keep stuff to yourself? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thinking of another racist joke to say. No. <laughs> I don't even... Bruh. 